Hey guys, welcome back. I got another haul today for my 1 6th scale dolls. So that would include Blythe, Azone, Leica, and similar dolls. So I thought I would take the opportunity to do a little dolly dress up video for you guys. Um, I'm really happy with my purchases. I got a bunch of just fun, colorful shirts and I will link the seller below because right now I can't think of the name, but they were pretty good priced and so much fun to get. Um, I think that with a simple pair of shorts or pants, uh, or even a skirt, they would look great. So first up, we have this beautiful purple number, purple and green, and you know, all my favorite colors. And I just could not wait for these to come. It took forever, but you know, that's the way of the dolls world. So I kind of expected that. Um, there was no indication that they had any kind of tracking and so when it had been X amount of weeks I was a little bit concerned but they came today so no problem. <laughs> I have Fern out today. She is my art doll, Pupinky doll and I love her. She's on the A zone, I believe medium body. I'd have to double check that but she generally fits uh, all of the A zone and Blythe clothes that I've purchased. Generally speaking, um, I've not had any trouble with having Blythe clothes fit her. Let's see, I decided to open up the case. And you can see in here, I have a couple of hangers from another seller that are so cute and they were so inexpensive. I tried making some of my own, which I'll show you in the next clip. <laughs> They're kind of sad, but I do like the scale of them though. They're not as thick and you can fit more into the closet. So I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but either way, they were a great purchase. And here's the first little outfit I've put together. I thought, well, let's take off the, the shoes and tights and let's just not have any distractions. So I like that look a lot, really cute. The scale of the clothing is perfect and the weight of the fabric I love. It falls really nicely, so that's nice. And here I'm gonna try out this new hanger. All right, and this lovely little green number. I check that out and I find when I'm dressing my dolls at least the ones that are able to I pop the hands off because it just even if they are able to fit through the hole it's a lot less likely to snag so that's easier for me there's so many options with these outfits and I know that maiden suit in particular encourages lots of layering and it's such a good tip. I love layering the clothes and mixing and matching with the different shoes and stockings and oh man, I should go over a stocking collection sometime because I have so many now, <laughs> but they're so cute and I can't resist. This video is about eight minutes long and I don't even know if I can ramble for that long. <laughs> so maybe I'll just update you guys a little bit on what's been going on for me. I have indeed been continuing my Blythe adventure and customizing and all of that and soon there will be more videos up about that. Um, I've been kind of mixing and matching different ball jointed doll bodies right now because the body that I got from Leaky World isn't quite what I, I mean I love it, it's a beautiful aesthetic, but the scale I should have known when I looked at the centimeters uh, isn't quite right for my story. 
and so I'm I'm seeing if I could maybe make something out of it but so far I've just been really struggling with that so that's a little disappointing but I'm not done yet I haven't given up uh, Alden still needs a face up he's his head's not even on right now so I kind of want to get that done and my Yvonne Yoshko Blythe boy and Lilo girl need their face ups done uh, what else I have a Laika Chan that I need to introduce to all of you you've probably just sort of seen her a little bit in uh, like snippets in other videos but I basically bought her on AliExpress for her body. <laughs> I feel bad saying that. I bought her for her body, but I did. Uh, it was just a random selection and uh, I wanted to try the Leica body on my Blythe. And so far so good, I do like it. I had an extra small Azone body that I switched out and thought it would look cute on her and it does. So. I need to make some photos, I need to introduce her to you formally, and um, so that'll be a future video for sure. I've also collected some really great props from Hobby Lobby, like incredible, adorable doll scale props. Um, they often have some kind of sale going on. I don't think I've ever been there when they don't have a sale, it just goes from one section to the next. And um, anyway, I found some really cute things that I need to share in another video so you can actually visually see it because right now I'm just doing a dress up video. <laughs> but as you can see, going back to the dress up portion, you can mix and match and do all kinds of cute little combinations. And here I decided I want to go with the purple and you can either put bloomers under it or even these jeans you can dress it up you can dress it down i just love these pieces to bits i decided to use my gia gia doll um they're not leg warmers because they're really thin but i guess leggings they're leggings and uh from ex past experience i knew i couldn't put the leggings on first and then the jeans so i just put the leggings in the jeans and then put them both on at the same time and that seems to work pretty well and there she is thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one